Hello, I'm Jesse Suter, Director of the Center on Disability and Community Inclusion. In this video, I'm going to discuss our CDCI Year in Review for 2024. The document begins with an introduction from me that says, Dear friends and colleagues, I'm happy to share the summary of our work from July 1st, 2023 to June 30th, 2024, also called Fiscal Year 2024. This year was special because it was the first year of a new five-year work plan. We kicked off several new efforts for our work, including designing a new community needs assessment, focusing on accessibility, diversity, equity, and inclusion in our work, finding new ways to work together across our many projects at CDCI, exploring how to better support students and accessibility at UVM. We launched a new project this year, Vermont Pathways to Partnerships. We worked with state partners in summer 2023 to write a $10 million grant application. It had a delayed start and we started work in spring 2024. CDCI will lead the evaluation and provide employment training and technical assistance. Finally, 2024 is the center's 50th anniversary. We're planning the celebration for November 14th, 2024. Please save the date and more details will be sent soon. All my best. After the introduction, we share information about the people who worked at the center. This year, 106 people worked at the center. They include 36 student employees. Uh, they were Think College peer mentors, 29 temporary hourly employees, 21 affiliate employees, and 20 University of Vermont employees. For the first time in our year in review, we share information about the funding we received to do our work. Total center funding for the 2024 fiscal year was $6,564,540. Most of that came from state agencies in Vermont. $5,086,575 came from state agencies, which was 77% of our overall budget. The next largest source of funding was the federal government. $851,576 came from the federal government, and that was 13% of our budget. $591,584 came to the center as fee-for-service. That happens when schools and other groups pay us to provide specific services. This was 9% of our budget. The University of Vermont contributed $30,247 to CDCI. This is half of 1%. And finally, we received $4,558 in donations. This is one-tenth of a percent of our budget. Note, these funding numbers may change after the fiscal year ends, so after June 30th, 2024. The rest of the CDCI year in review shares progress on goals for our four core functions, academics, service, research, and communication. We start with our uh, we start with our five goals for academics. <clears throat> the first goal is keep supporting Think College Vermont as a college option. This goal was achieved. 13 students enrolled this year and three graduated. And we hired 36 peer mentors. The second goal was to create a smaller version of the Certificate in Disability Studies. This goal is in progress. A proposal for a new microcertificate is under review with the Graduate College. The third goal is to review how diversity, equity, and inclusion is part of CDCI teaching. This goal is in progress. We joined a small number of faculty at UVM to review courses for diversity, equity, and inclusion this year, and we plan to support other teaching at CDCI to do this as well. Our fourth goal was design online classes in disability studies and accessibility. This goal is in progress. All disability study courses are online. Accessibility course is under development and we are developing online community education modules and collaborating with the Vermont State Independent Living Council. The fifth goal is to better support students with disabilities at UVM. This goal was achieved we supported the UVM Disabled Students Union 
Jesse became their advisor. That's me. Advocating for better accessibility at UVM and identifying internships and other opportunities for students at CDCI. We had a question for CAC members about academics. Who should we design community education modules for? After academics, we had three goals for community service. The first goal is to support the Vermont Leadership Series. This goal was achieved. We financially supported the Leadership Series and with the Vermont Community of Practice for Cultural and Linguistic Competency, we supported three regions to lead cultural and linguistic competency in disability services. Our second goal was to provide trainings, consultation, and resources to improve access to services in early intervention, education, employment, healthcare, and assistive technology. This goal was achieved. I'll share a number of highlights from this year. We presented a new eat, poop, sleep training to 100 plus early childhood providers, extensive training and evidence-based interventions for young autistic children. We redesigned the early intervention certification for professionals providing early intervention services to families. Think College made the zero project shortlist for inclusive education in 2024. We led a year long training on co-teaching for Burlington Elementary School. We served on the New England Consortium on Deaf Blindness, Sensory Access Instruction and Leadership Team. We led another summer training institute on social, emotional, behavioral well being. We performed comprehensive assessments for students who are deaf, hard of hearing, and deaf blind throughout Vermont. We led remote peer groups for deaf, hard of hearing, and deaf blind students of all ages throughout the state. We provided more than 8,000 hours of technical assistance to support students with intensive needs. We researched community resources to support new American families with children with disabilities and helped a family apply for SSI, Medicaid and guardianship. We hosted an employer engagement and job development training for over 80 employment service providers and educators. We created more than 30 plain language informational and instructional videos to support children's contents. And we continued assistive technology tryout loans and technical assistance to schools. Our third goal for community service is to find new ways to support mental health and housing. This goal is in progress. This year, we increased our work in early childhood, social, emotional, and behavioral supports. And we're going to use the 2023 housing report by the Vermont Developmental Disabilities Council to inform our next community needs assessment. Question for the CAC. How can we best learn about people's experiences with services? For our next section, we had five goals for research. The first goal was to collect and share data on needs in Vermont. Uh, this goal begins next year. So we didn't, so we, we don't say whether it was achieved or in progress. Uh, the second goal is to write an annual report on disability in Vermont. This goal is in progress. We're finishing the first report before July and a second report will be due December, 2024. Third goal is to partner with people with disabilities and others to do more research. This goal was achieved. Nicole Villamer completed a researcher training for her Think College study. We conducted a survey of attitudes on accessibility in Vermont's outdoor spaces. And we're finishing a research project on school-based wraparound supports. Our fourth goal was to secure new funding through university and community partnerships. This goal was achieved. We helped Vermont secure a $10 million grant to create Vermont Pathways to Partnerships for high school students with disabilities. And our fifth goal was to write accessible summaries and reports so more people can learn from research about disability. This goal was achieved. We wrote four accessible research summaries. We presented to the Association of University Centers on Disability on our accessible research format. And we wanna say thank you to Sky Peoples for all the help with the plain language reviews. Question for the CAC. How do you wanna be involved in the community needs assessment? 
Finally, we had four goals for communication. The first goal is to provide more trainings and resources on accessibility. This goal was achieved. We provided three new accessibility trainings for CDCI staff this year. We partnered with UVM Communications and presented on accessibility to all communicators at UVM. Our second goal is to help UVM create a policy on language access. Language access means what languages every document and resources are available in. This goal is in progress. We wrote a draft of a language access plan. This fall, we'll send it out for feedback. The third goal is to continue to provide accessible and high quality communications. This goal was achieved. We produced 11 podcast episodes and 65 new videos. We redesigned all the CDCI project websites to make them easier to understand. The fourth goal is to find new funding to expand our communication work. This goal is in progress. We're working on two grant applications to first provide accessibility training to UVM departments and two, host a Vermont accessibility conference. Question for the CAC, who would you like to see on the podcast next year? That's the end of this video, sharing the CDCI year interview for 2024. Thanks so much.